I have searched for a unique way whereby a motion picture audience can actually decide the climax of a picture. I have found such a way. My latest picture, Mr. Sodonicus, offers something no audience has ever had before, the power to determine the fate of a character on the screen, the power to punish. In ancient Rome, spectators could decree life or death to a gladiator by indicating thumbs up or thumbs down. During the French Revolution, the mobs could condemn a man by merely shouting, to the guillotine. In the early West, vigilantes took the law into their own hands. Today, for the first time, the awful power to punish will be yours. After you see the evil events that made Mr. Sardonicus what he was, you will decide what should be done to him. You will now see some scenes from the picture. The face of Mr. Sardonicus will not be shown because I realize that some people in this audience might be adversely affected by it. Those of you who come to see Mr. Sardonicus will understand why. Mr. Sardonicus. What makes his name strike terror? Sardonicus? Why were you frightened? Uh, sir, you would not understand. You are young. You do not yet have daughters. Why does his wife live in abject fear? If you do not heal him, he will punish me. Surely he wouldn't beat you. His cleverness knows a more hideous torture. What strange attraction did young women have for him? What secrets are hidden behind his doors? Mr. Sardonicus. His deeds form the fabric of nightmares. His face, the face of Sardonicus, can be described only in the eyes of its beholders. Mr. Sardonicus, in spite of all his cruelties, some people will think he deserves mercy. Others will feel that no punishment could be too severe. When you come to see Mr. Sardonicus, you will receive a, a ballad like this. At a certain point in the picture, you will vote thumbs up or thumbs down. His punishment will depend on the result of your vote.